Hello everyone. You be the change what you want to see in the world. Now in last video I have discussed with you the seed germination and plant growth. In that I have discussed uh, you about the special seed germination in mangroves that is viviparae. In this video I want to little bit elaborate viviparae also nematophore these two are the important features of mangroves so we you can see a picture this is a mangrove ecosystem you can see how the plants are arranged how the roots are supporting them how they are important for the ecosystem they are binding the soil they are maintaining the ecological balance they are purifying the water we can we will study this in the coming slides right so we now what are mangroves mangroves are shrubs or small trees that grows in coastal saline or brackish areas especially in tropical and subtropical region now what is brackish area it is nothing but uh, where uh, the area where the salt water and the fresh water that means without salt combines that means marine and fresh water combines that area estuaries okay that type of areas is what we called as brackish areas uh, so this type of mangroves are grown in that particular areas mostly the families which include the uh, this mangroves are rhizophoraceae acanthaceae lithraceae combretaceae and araceae these uh, plants grows in along the tidal estuaries estuaries i told you it is the area where the fresh water and marine water combines that means salty water and the fresh water combines and uh, these are mainly salt masses also it grows on the muddy coast now what are the features of mangroves you can see uh, a very beautiful uh, mangroves on this this uh, this is a picture from uh, our india only see how the mangroves are you can see the prop roots coming out you can see how nicely the ecosystem is how the nature how beautiful is our nature how uh, the balance is going on so what are the features right the first feature is mangroves are salt tolerant plants as i told you it is growing in the areas where the salt content is very high so they are adapted in such a way that they can tolerate the salt content and grow these type of plants uh, those uh, which are salt tolerant they are known as halophytes these uh, these plants are adapted to low oxygen conditions because they are bushy and also they are in the muddy coast the oxygen content will be very low they also have a complex salt filtration system now what is salt filtration system see these mangroves ha have i told you they are growing on the marshy areas brackish water so salt content is very high to maintain that they have the system root system which absorbs the nitrates and phosphates coming from the river and streams which is going to the sea so they absorb these type of nutrients these types of pollutants sometimes when it is in high level these salts they are absorbing okay also they are absorbing the silt and sediments that the tides ca carry right so this salt filtration technique uh, they maintain the water purity of the water right also mangroves have a complex root, uh, root system root system they have the prop roots i told you they, they, you can see at the background itself prop roots are coming from the branches coming from the Uh, uh the stem part and it is giving support to the mangrove trees right and they also have a special type of breathing roots nematophores we will discuss in next slides coming slides okay again one more important phenomena which i taught you in last uh, uh video that is viviparae okay we will discuss in coming slides now when very important uh, part of mangroves is they are the best carbon scrub according to nasa right now uh, we know that carbon dioxide is uh, considered as pollutant it is pollutant right 
so these type of uh, ecosystem mangrove ecosystem they are a major role playing in absorption of carbon dioxide apart from all the forest so if we are maintaining mangrove ecosystem we can reduce the pollutant we can reduce the pollution right so we should focus on the conservation of mangroves now what are the importance of mangroves little bit i discussed now itself it is serving as a buffer between marine and terrestrial communities as i told you it is on the coastal region so it is connecting the terrestrial and as well as the sea water marine water salty water right so whatever the high tides winds waves floods are coming it is resisting on both the sides so it is protecting uh, the negative things coming from the sea coming from the uh, land also right so it is acting as a protection resistance buffer between marine and terrestrial communities and improves water quality by filtering pollutants and trapping sediments from the land this i discussed i told you they are absorbing the, the root system is well developed that they are absorbing the nitrates and phosphates also silt sediments so they are purifying the water right they reduce the coastal erosion that means i told you the root, root system is well developed they are binding the mud the soil the sediments together so even the high waves winds are coming it will not allow the uh, what the muddy pla- uh, muddy part the soil to flow into the water so uh, this is how it is reducing the coastal erosion now it is a uh, dwelling place for many terrestrial organisms also fishes shrimps shellfish crabs etc also it is a be- it is a place for the hatching of eggs spawning etc of these fishes right so a mangrove is a very very important ecosystem for our nature for the balancing of our nature now we will study about viviparity viviparity what is viviparity the process of seed germination inside the fruit while they are still attached to parent right now i told viviparity is a special character of mangroves so mangroves uh, the features we know it is growing in the marshy places oxygen deficient areas salty surface right viviparity we can see in the uh, uh, these mangroves like rhizophora brugera soneretia candelia cereopsis cereops avicennia now i will show a diagram a simple diagram where you can see a fruit this is a fruit a fruit is a, in in the fruit you can see the seed is germinating a radical shown right radical is projecting out because of the elongation of hypocotyl in the last class also i discussed that radic uh, this hypocotyl is a bow part of radical attached to the cotyledons so when the uh, hypocotyl elongates radical automatically comes out as the radical the seedling grows properly the uh, seedling gets detached from the fruit and falls down roots will develop at the bottom part of the radical and you can see the leaves are coming this is a simple diagram we have another diagram so we'll discuss now how the germination occurs right during seed germination radical emerges out due to elongation of hypocotyl as the uh, elongation takes place the embryo becomes active the metabolic rate increases so the weight of seedling increases as the weight increases because of the, because of the elongation of radical and all the seedling gets detached from the parent plant and it falls down vertically and the radical gets penetrated into the soil and from the bottom part of the radical roots comes out and slowly the leaves will appear at the top part as i shown you in the diagram right you can have this diagram also you can see uh, how the seedling is detaching from the fruit hypocotyl elongation you can see in this green part elongation of hypocotyl the bottom is radical which is which will fall down here the it is uh, the fruit is attached this is how the picture of viviparity okay later on as elongation takes place it will fall down and it will grow right i hope you understood now nematophore very important character of mangroves 
I told you mangroves have crop roots also. They are supporting the plant to hold on, right? Now, nematophores, they are otherwise known as respiratory roots or knee roots. Now, respiratory roots, that means for absorption of oxygen or for breathing, these roots are very, very important. I told you, these uh, mangroves are grown, uh, grown in marshy areas where the oxygen is very less in the soil because uh, it is muddy, right? So, binding uh, property is very much high. So, proper aeration is not there, right? So, to resist or for that only this special type of adaptation is there, that is nematophore. Now, how the nematophore, it, it is a root which will project out from the ground and at the top part there, they have a small pores called lenticels. They are small openings through which the air enters, atmospheric oxygen enters inside the plant, inside the root and they will reach through the soft spongy tissues to the roots, bottom part of the root beneath the mud. Now, this uh, nematophores at the upper part, they have the spongy tissues. So, air enters through the spongy tissues and reach the roots beneath the mud, right? This is how the mangroves breathe and dresses in uh, extreme salt condition also. You can have a look, there is a nematophore. See, this is a mangrove ecosystem. So, many nematophores are coming. You can, you can see, see, at the uh, upper part, uh, the nematophore, small openings will be there right so these are the breathing roots which is helping the mangroves breathe so vivitarian pneumatophore are very important character of mangroves so in this um, context i am telling you that maximum you should study about these ecosystems and try to do something valuable so that we can conserve this type of ecosystem so that we can balance it so that we can reduce the pollution okay much more Recap, answer these questions and thank you for watching.